morning. Welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. This is a broadcast coming from London, England. Today is Monday, May 24, 2010. It's 11.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time in the U.S. It's 4.30 p.m. over here. We'll go to our news and then uh, we'll end with a little bit of a commentary. Um, we'll start with the big oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. It's still ongoing. BP's plans to do the so-called top kill, in which they were going to uh, pump down uh, cement and other sorts of uh, cement-related sludge into the spill, apparently did not occur. And as a result, the spill is still ongoing. Uh, up to 65 miles now, the Louisiana coastline has now been uh, affected by the oil. And the U.S. Secretary of the Interior, Ken Salazar, said, quote, he is not completely confident that British Petroleum knows what they're doing. Uh, so we still have an ongoing big problem with that. And in Jamaica, the island of Jamaica, an independent sovereign state, a state of emergency has been declared. A masked gunman defending a reputed drug lord who's been sought by the United States government have uh, burned a police station to the ground, traded gunfire with the army, and barricaded a section of Kingston. Uh, it's a virtual fortress, apparently. Uh, it's a stronghold of somebody uh, named Christopher Koch, of all names. Um, several people have been reported to have been killed, as many as 25 civilians so far. Uh, two police have been killed. Um, the Prime Minister of Jamaica is involved with this, and it's possible, although not likely, that uh, other uh, military action will be contemplated. In the United Kingdom, uh, the big news over here is a strike by British Airways. Uh, British Airways uh, is accepting, Heathrow is accepting incoming BA flights right now. These are mainly long haul flights that are coming from remote points in Asia and the U.S. Uh, precious few outbound flights from Heathrow are going. Uh, apparently, uh, there has now been a final spate between uh, uh, Willie Walsh, BA's chief, never mention his name when you're waiting in line at a check-in to an employee, you'll be sent to the back of the line, and the uh, head of the union um, that is involved with this, a gentleman named uh, Derek Wood. Um, what's going on is that the uh, union offered apparently to go to work, forestall the strike, if BA would reinstate their travel perks and travel privileges. Walsh declined at the last moment, saying that in fact it had already been offered. Uh, the union, in fact, then walked off the job. So if you're on a BA flight going anywhere today, uh, don't think you're going to make the flight. CADEX came out with a press release this morning at 6 a.m. CADEX announced that uh, it has joined with Tri Systems. Uh, both providers of technology platform and services to the reinsurance industry uh, to start a strategic partnership in which they'll deliver a full end-to-end -end solution for border row formatting, processing, and reporting. If you go to Google search under uh, news for CADEX, you'll see this. Uh, but what CADEX and border row management systems have done is they've taken the uh, Tri-Systems UMG transform product, which means that any repeat any spreadsheet of any type can in fact be simply poured into the CADEX border row management system. The ongoing investigation of the Air India 737 plane crash at the Mangalore airport down in the southern state of Karnataka is still ongoing. 158 people were killed. There were initial uh, reports that the uh, investigators were focusing on so-called human error. Uh, apparently the uh, Amidst the debris, they found that the throttle in the cockpit had been found in the forward position, indicating that the pilot had perhaps been trying to uh, attempt a final thrust to uh, go around a few seconds before the plane crashed. Uh, they have, in fact, recovered the uh, flight pit uh, data, the flight flight uh, cockpit data recorder, and they're investigating that now. Um, but it still is a, uh, a troubling situation. Obviously, it was a very late model Boeing 737. Air India has not had a crash in about nine years. Uh, it could be considered that maybe the fact that the uh, runway was on the side of a mountain uh, might have something to do with it, but we'll have to see more information before coming. In the UK, the uh, Finnish insurer Sampo is being fingered as possibly the uh, best chance to save jobs at uh, Quinn Insurance. According to the, uh, uh, the Times of London yesterday, the Anglo-Irish Bank 
is in talks with Finnish insurer Sampo about a takeover of Trouble Quinn Insurance. Anglo Irish wants a partner with no current Irish insurance to help avoid job losses. Uh, Sampo owns the IFP and C insurance company, the biggest P and C insurer in the Nordic region, as well as uh, Manditum Life, which is uh, a life insurer in Finland. So, uh, if in fact the Finns come in and take a stake in the Irish insurance market, then uh, presumably few jobs, if any, would be lost in Ireland. Yesterday in the UK, it was uh, a cloudless day in London. There was not a cloud in the sky. It was a blue sky throughout. Temperature was about 80 degrees. Uh, Londoners thought it to be a very warm day. People from the U.S. or from India who were here were not at all uh, particularly overtaxed. And everywhere you went, you saw uh, Brighton's out lying in parks, soaking in the sun. The mood was strangely relaxed. I had arrived here yesterday morning and found myself wandering through the city. And one thing struck me: there was a sense of uh, uh, a type of calmness, and it didn't seem to be the type of populace that just uh, a scant eight days before had thrown a government out of office that had been in power for the last 14 years, a country that had entrusted its future to two relatively untested, uh, just past 40-year-old people who are now running the country. But yet there was a very, very strange sense of quiet and calmness and relief almost as if it was a feeling of a, uh, a type of calm before the storm. This morning, the lead news on the BBC One, the lead news on the uh, front page of the newspapers, were the uh, reactions of civil servants who are now about to endure a $6 billion uh, cut of jobs, benefits, pension benefits, health care benefits, and the like. The axe is beginning to fall here. It's possible that yesterday was just a relaxing minute or two of uh, the last days before the axe comes. And as we've talked about, uh, this type of sequence, domino effect or not, is something that the rest of the world is watching to make sure that it doesn't uh, happen all right down the line through the rest of Europe and to the U.S. <coughs> we'll keep reporting from London. If we have any breaking news, if I can find anybody of interest to interview, we'll grab them and bring them on, and uh, we'll see you later in the day probably. Thanks for watching.